Todd Whittem here and part of the Keep It Simple series. So I want to talk about preparation. So when do you actually prepare the racket? Well, we've seen with a lot of students that have come to us that we're seeing kids and they're preparing late. So what do I mean by that? Well, kids aren't taking the racket back until maybe the ball is coming over the net or it's bouncing on their side of the court. And so when they prepare late, obviously they're gonna hit the ball in here. Their contact point is gonna be in here and it's not gonna be in front of their body. So what do I always say about preparation? Well, the second you see the ball come out of your opponent's racket, you should already be back and trying to go forward and strike the ball in front of your body. So what I also feel is that kids have been fed and hand fed so many balls that they can be late preparing and still hit the ball well. When someone's feeding you balls or hand feeding you balls, it's not realistic. Do we do that? Yeah, we do a lot of feeding, but we also do a lot of live ball hitting. Why? Because tennis, the ball is coming at you with different heights, spins, trajectories, all those different elements. And so you have to be able to time the ball properly and prepare the racket. So when should you prepare? The second the ball comes out of the opponent's racket. So when you're moving, you should be moving with the racket back. That's super important. It'll help you hit the ball in front of your body and you'll time the ball way better. Best of luck.